Well, hello there folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you're joining me on an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous day, really, really nice. Uh, so I thought I'd come out into the woods and have a bit of a chill. Um, so I'm going to be doing a wee bit of work on the actual chair, but there's no rush for it. So it's just at a slow, slow pace. Uh, but I'll be going off up and getting some materials in a wee bit and just actually making some of the um, structure for the actual chair. Um, but it's very much just a case of relaxation more than anything today. Um, so I've got a really nice lunch as well. I've been wanting to make bannock for a wee while, but haven't haven't had a chance. So I've brought my bannock mix out today. So make a wee bit of bannock, a bit of scotch broth. Uh, and who knows, I might even share it. I've got a mouse that actually stays out at camp as well uh, in the upper camp. Uh, so I've seen him quite a few times and you're sort of trying to direct him away from the fire. Um, but I've just actually arrived and he's like rustling around in there, squeaking away like mad. Uh, so he seems quite happy as well. So you might have some broth also. Uh, but we'll see you in a wee bit and we'll get everything set up. I've been trying to figure out how to sort of put the chair together. Um, last time I'd actually used twine and all that sort of things as well, but it has sort of eventually uh, sort of come loose. So I was wanting to try and actually uh, be able to sort of get it all put together properly. Um, but the question was, I was wanting to try and make it as sturdy as possible. So the question was, do I try and stick with that sort of size of actual stick and then actually just make the actual ends there? Or alternatively actually go for a much narrower stick because the auger I've got is a one inch auger. Uh, so I was needing the actual uh, the bits there to be one inch so I could conceivably get smaller bits of stick and actually just sort of be able to um, use the axe for doing it. We're going to give this a wee try just on a couple of them. As I said there's no time limit for when I've got to have this completed so it's just a case of actually taking some time uh, and actually getting a chance to actually use the chisels. Um, so I'm just going to crack on with this and at least try one in just to sort of see what it's actually like uh, and then actually I'll be able to sort of batter on and get the rest of it done.
Well, I have to say I find that incredibly relaxing. So that's definitely the way I'm actually going to go. I've never really done all that before. Um, but that was, I really, really enjoyed that. So it's going to take quite a lot of time to actually do it. So I, I do apologize. I'm not going to video all of it. Um, but it's quite good. Again, it's more from the point of view of like using the saw to start with, actually just sawing around a certain length, of, a certain depth of the actual blade itself. Uh, and then the axe to actually take off the first little bit of it. And then uh, I was using a chisel, uh, but I've also got my uh, draw uh, draw knife as well. Um, so I'm going to do them, and then obviously it's just basically to try and get it to the, the inch thick, obviously for the actual Scotch auger holes that I've actually drilled in it. Um, but really relaxing. So that's one of them actually done. Uh, quite a lot more to go. Well, I have to say, I really, really enjoyed that. Just so, 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 so relaxing. Um, so <laughs> I'll be carrying on doing that for the rest of the afternoon, no doubt. Uh, but as I said, losing the letter ready, just about how foggy it actually is. So I'm going to come up and have a bit of lunch just now. I want to get that bannock on uh, before I get back to it. Um, so I've done two so far. I've got another six to go. Uh, so quite a lot of work uh, still to do as well as the actual backrest. So um, it will just be a case of sort of plodding on over the next few while. Uh, getting it done but really really good very very therapeutic <laughs> uh, so as i said just going to get the actual fire started which could be a challenge considering everything is just absolutely sudden uh, but we'll give it a try So I'll put the ingredients in the actual <coughs> description, but I'll, what I always do is just have a pre-filled bag uh, just with the actual mix for the bannock itself. And it's always worthwhile bringing just a little extra uh, just when you're actually doing your mix. This might be quite a big bannock. <laughs> and just introduce your, your water slowly.
wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Never had soup out of camp before. But I thought I'd give it a try today just because it was so cold. Uh, the bannock uh, worked okay. Uh, Ban said if anything it was probably a little bit in the doughy side, hadn't taken quite enough flour out or put too much water in and then didn't have enough flour to actually be able to uh, rectify it. But it was quite nice but also, I uh, don't know if you can see it there, uh, but I uh, got some blackberries in the actual way up and put that into the actual bannock mix as well. So really nice. I'm just going to sit here, finish off my doughy bannock uh, and my soup and head back down to camp and see if I can get another couple of the bits finished before I go home.
Well, unfortunately, I'm chasing the light again. Uh, I need to get here a little bit earlier on the days that I actually get here, but uh, it's always a bit of a struggle. Um, but by the time I sort of get the top camp all sort of tidied up after cooking, um, it's going to be getting pretty dark. Uh, so I'm going to try and head just now, uh, just so I can actually make it out of the forest with uh, being able to actually see. Um, but no, thoroughly enjoyable day, really, really enjoyed it. I am just such a relaxing one. So hopefully you've enjoyed it as well, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, please, please, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.